स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज एनसीआर एक्सरसाइज प्रॉब्लम टू पॉइंट नाइनटीन फ्रॉम पेज नंबर सेवेंटी ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम राइट सो लेट्स रीड दिस स्टेटमेंट द इलेक्ट्रॉन एनर्जी इन हाइड्रोजन एटम इज गिवन बाय ए सब्सक्रिप्ट एन इक्वल टू माइनस टू पॉइंट वन एट इंटू टेन रेज टू पार माइनस एटीन बाय एन स्क्वायर जूल कैलकुलेट द एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड टू रिमूव एन इलेक्ट्रॉन कंप्लीटली फ्रॉम द एन इक्वल टू टू ऑर्बिट वट इज द लॉन्गेस्ट वेव लेंथ ऑफ लाइट इन सेंटीमीटर दैट कैन बी यूज टू कॉज दिस ट्रांजेक्शन ओके सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन दे हैव गिवन यू द एनर्जी इलेक्ट्रॉन एनर्जी ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एटम दैट कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय E subscript n equal to minus two point one eight into ten raised to power minus eighteen by n square joule. That means energy of any of the orbit is represented by minus two point one eight into ten raised to power minus eighteen by n square, and this energy is expressed in joule. Right? You have to find the energy required to remove the electron completely from the orbit two. If you see in this question, you have to remove the electron from the second orbit to the infinite orbit. For this, you have to find the energy required, right? So definitely, in this case, we have to find the energy difference between the infinite orbit and second orbit, right? so definitely energy difference means you have to find the value of delta e right so delta e equal to energy of infinite orbit minus energy of second orbit right first of all we'll find the value of energy of infinite orbit right for this we'll use the relation e infinity equal to minus 2.18 into 10 raised to power minus 18 by n square now in this case we will take n equal to infinity so definitely infinity is square and this energy is expressed in joule so the square of infinity is always infinity right so you can write over here so e infinity equal to minus 2.18 into 10 raised to power minus 18 by infinity right so if you will divide something with infinity it will be zero right so e infinity will be zero now we will find the energy of second orbit e subscript 2 equal to minus 2.18 into 10 raised to power minus 18 by n square now in this case the value of n will be 2 so you'll take the square of 2 and this energy is also expressed in joule right so e subscript 2 equal to minus 2.18 into 10 raised to power minus 18 by 2 square that will be 4 right so when you will divide 2.18 with 4 your answer will be e subscript 2 equal to minus 0.545 into 10 raised to power minus 18 joule now we will put the values of e infinity and e2 in the relation so delta e equal to e infinity minus e2 right so the value of e infinity is 0 minus minus 0.545 into 10 raised to power minus 18 and this value is in joule Minus into minus, it will be plus. So delta e equal to zero point five four five into ten raised to power minus eighteen joule. Now I just want to express this value in terms of scientific notation. According to the scientific notation, there should be one non-zero digit on the left side of the decimal. So what I'll do, I'll simply displace this decimal up to one digit, right? So power will be negative. So delta e equal to five point four five into ten raised to power minus one into ten raised to power minus eighteen joule. These two powers are in multiplication, so you can simply add them. Delta e equal to five point four five into ten raised to power minus one minus eighteen joule. So energy difference equal to five point four five into ten raised to power minus nineteen. 
joule that means this much energy is required to remove an electron completely from second orbit our next question is what is the longest wavelength of light in centimeter that can be used to cause this transition now you have to find the value of wavelength over here right so for this you'll use the formula delta e equal to h c by a lambda so you can write delta e that means this much energy is required to remove an electron definitely this energy will give you the wavelength that is required to remove the electron or cause this transition right so delta e equal to h c by a lambda we are having the value of delta e that is 5.45 into 10 raised to power minus 19 joule h is Planck's constant 6.626 into 10 raised to power minus 34 joule second and this c is velocity of light 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second now we have to find the value of lambda that means wavelength so what i'll do i'll simply keep wavelength on one side and rest of the terms on the other side that means at c by delta E, right now we can put the value over here so lambda equal to h is Planck's constant 6.626 into 10 raised to power minus 34 joule second into c is velocity of light 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second divided by this delta e 5.45 into 10 raised to power minus 19 joule now i'll cancel this joule with this second with second inverse when you will multiply 6.626 with 3 your answer will be 19.878 now we will compile the powers so this 10 raised to power minus 19 is negative in denominator when i will take this power in numerator it will change its sign so 10 raised to power minus 34 into 10 raised to power 8 into now this 10 raised to power 19 right divided by 5.45 units meter only when you will divide 19.878 with 5.45 your answer will be 3.647 now these powers are in multiplication so you can simply add them 10 raised to power minus 34 plus 8 plus 90 meter so lambda equal to 3.647 into 10 raised to power minus 34 8 plus 19 that will be 27 so when you will subtract 34 from 27 your answer will be 10 raised to power minus 7 so lambda equal to 3.647 into 10 raised to power minus 7 meter now we have to express this value in centimeter right so i know that one meter equal to 100 centimeter now i can simply put the value so this 100 centimeter can be written as 10 raised to power 2 right so you can put the value over here so lambda equal to 3.647 into 10 raised to power 2 into 10 raised to power minus 7 centimeter these two powers again are in multiplication so you can simply add them 3.647 into 10 raised to power 2 minus 7 right so 2 minus 7 that will be 10 raised to power minus 5 so the wavelength that is required to exhibit this transition is 3.647 into 10 raised to power minus 5 centimeter.